Yeah, yeah! What up, man? It's Phil X. Um, five million views this week. How kick-ass is that? Thank you all for hanging out and um, watching our videos. Because uh, we like to kick ass, and I mean, five million views means we kick ass, right? So that's all good. We're all in it together. Um, I have a 62 Gibson, and I know everybody's going to go, wow, nice SG. But if you look really close on the uh, Tress uh, cover there, it says Les Paul. This was the last Les Paul that they built. Not this particular one, but this uh, model. Uh, Les Paul himself had nothing to do with the, the, the design of this guitar. Um, he had, a, you know, obviously the, the original Les Paul. And a lot of people don't know that in 58 and 59, those are the most desired Les Pauls. Those 58, 59 bursts are like the most desired Les Pauls on the planet. But they actually tanked. They bombed when they came out. Nobody liked them. They, they, they looked too classical looking. So uh, Gibson switched to this, calling it a Les Paul. And Les was like, dude, that guitar, I don't like that guitar. Take my name off it right now. So that ended up going down. And then they didn't build a Les Paul again until 1968. So that's six years that they didn't build any Les Pauls. So anyways, um, I'm still going to call it an SG. They changed it to SG. SG stands for solid guitar. And it's solid, man. Knocking. Yeah. We're in the clean sound of the Vox AC30. And uh, Destin's like, man, you're chewing too much. I'm testing one, two. I'm losing the gum. Man, did that guy just put a piece of gum on the Vox AC30? Don't worry, man, I'll take it off later. Anyways, um, I'm wearing nail polish. I had a show the other day, and uh, it's not a fashion show, boys. It's a guitar show. So no comments about the nail polish. Or you're like, I don't know, maybe you're a lawyer or something with a goatee and a ponytail. So, uh, rocking out. Here we go. Um, I love the neck pickup of this guitar into the Vox AC30. It's super smooth. That's a nine chord. <laughs> I won't do that all day long. Don't worry about it. I'm using my fingers because I, I, I'm digging the tone with my fingers on these strings. This is uh, the treble pickup. I'll go back because I didn't do a lot on it, but you can hear how it just wants to jingle jangle for you in a clean tone. Like say we're in E. I'm gonna tune that G string because it's driving me crazy. And we're back from tuning. <laughs> Alright, so So I'm just playing uh, intervals of E on the G and the, and the D string and letting the E string and B string ring out so you get all kinds of... You get this really cool... And then we're going to the middle position. Okay, and uh, somebody's gonna go, what the hell song was that? But I don't know, I was just riffing. <laughs> going into a massive baby, yeah! <laughs> okay, and uh, everybody's gonna be like, wow, he played an SG, but he didn't do any of this guy or this guy or this guy. And those guys played SGs, but dude, man, get your head out of your. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Edit out. Um, yeah, it's, you know what, I mean, when you pick up a guitar, you don't have to play uh, ACDC or Black Sabbath or, you know, it's an SG, you know, or Eric Clapton or whatever. It's, it's like whatever, that's like putting a, a box or putting you in a box and you're like getting stuck in a box. So let's get out of the box. People, come on. Let's play like whatever we feel like, whatever the, the sound is inspiring me to play. In this case, it's ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> 
It always is, right? <laughs> Yeah, man, I can't resist some good old-fashioned AC DC. Okay, check it out. Let's do a lesson. I got some tweets today. I'm gonna drop it. I got some tweets today, and there's two things that people wanted to. Two things that I got tweeted was one was um, air hockey champion of the world by the drills. Whoa, look out! Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. And uh, somebody said, hey man, how do you do that thing? I guess they saw us live one time, and when we're doing the the verse, I do this crazy thing where I'm playing one note. But I switch my fingers around. So and then I'm singing at the same time and they're like, how do you do that? And I don't know. But it goes something like this. <laughs> kind of like that. Okay, second lesson. Um, actually, that wasn't really a lesson. I'm just showing off. Yeah. <laughs> second lesson. Um, there's a song that Powder does. My other band, Powder. We have a song called Up Here. And in the breakdown, okay, this is how Up Here goes, by the way. <laughs> That's the riff to up here. In the breakdown of up here, I do this thing where uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna find it on here, but it goes kind of like this. Okay, that's my F sharp. And there's a D and a C, so it goes. And one more time, let's try. We're gonna put a bad monkey in. So uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm striking a rhythm, going And then I'm throwing in the harmonics. And why I do them down here is because they have this really gnarly sound to them. So I'm doing that. So I'm going to do it back up now. Yeah! Right. So uh, let's see. We didn't do the neck pick up here. Let's do the neck pick up. Tone master, that monkey. And we get there. Check it out, man. Fred at Americana. Ha! <laughs> Philex.tv.